Okay, so I have a thought I need to share with you guys and it blew my mind because it just landed for me right then when I was in the bathroom, but I need to come out here and film this. When we have more time on our hands than we anticipated our tasks or commitments or plans would take up, we often label it free time. And oftentimes, if you're anything like me and you're so used to hustling and being busy and always having something to do, you will feel bad about that free time. So this free time is something that you feel like you have an excess of, like you don't deserve it, you didn't plan to have it, and therefore internally you have a bit of resistance around it. So in the free time, you try to either keep yourself busy by finding things to do, or you find things to worry about, to be at least mentally or emotionally occupied with. And I was thinking about the concept of just the word free time. In reality, time is just time. Time is just the present moment, right? We label it free time because we're not doing anything with it. But don't we all love free stuff? I mean, I love free things, but why does a free plus time elicit negative emotion and discomfort? That just made me so curious. Like I honestly would never label anything free as bad or negative. I always love free things. So why is free time a problem? And so for me being a chronic hustler and always being so busy and taking pride in being busy, having excess time that's just free and available all of a sudden just holds a negative connotation, right? Is anybody else like me? So I realized that I was labeling this experience of free time as bad simply because it was free i didn't have to work for it i didn't have to earn it it's just available but in the hustler narrative unless you're working for something unless you're earning something then you don't deserve it see i believe we hustle because we don't believe we're deserving and so we work we try to earn what we believe we deserve and that's what keeps us on the hamster wheel of hustle right and so it's the same thing with time. When we have free time, we feel guilty having it because we didn't earn it. We're like, hang on, we, we don't deserve this free time. We don't deserve this spaciousness in our lives. We don't deserve to enjoy or to have pleasure or to feel things, good things. We must always be struggling, we must always be working, we must always be earning something. All because we don't believe we deserve it. And it's the same with money as it is with time. And that's why it just landed for me like, no wonder we offer so much resistance to free time and why unconsciously we make sure that we don't get free time and even when we do we try to fill it with more stuff so then i ask myself why do i want more free time why do i want to create a life where i have ample free time and it just brought me back to this whole concept of unhustling my life and being in abundance not just having material abundance, but being in abundance of everything, believing that nothing is in scarcity, including time. If I believed that I was deserving of every single experience, every single thing that was happening right now, I didn't need to earn it, I didn't need to prove anything, then I could allow myself the experience of just being in this present moment. I wouldn't be labeling something as productive time or free time or time wasted. It would just be time as is and my experience in the present moment as is. I realize, especially being a business owner, that I often label things as good or bad. Depending on how I'm using the time, I will mark it as productive or unproductive. What I'm learning recently is that all of it is just the present moment and whatever we choose to do it is truly the experience we're meant to have like whatever it is and we in our judgment in our small minds and our very limited limited intelligence will judge something as worthy of creating the result or not worthy of creating the result so me doing something leisurely or enjoying myself or just having a good life all of a sudden is marked as not productive because I can't logically calculate how me having a good time could equate to me being able to make a living. Because logically it doesn't make sense. The world's narrative says I must do XYZ things in order to make a living. Everything else is not considered counted. 
But again, I am deserving and worthy of every experience I have. So if the experience I'm meant to have in this life is to just be in this moment, to work when I'm working, to rest when I'm resting, to listen to my body, to be human, to feel my emotions, if this is the point of life and I am deserving of everything I get and I also am worthy of just experiencing this present moment, experiencing time, then I wouldn't feel so guilty having free time. In fact, I wouldn't even label it free time. It would just be time. It would just be the present moment. And you know what's so magical about this? It's that it just simplifies, absolutely simplifies the beauty and just the simplicity of life. Like, it really doesn't have to be any more complicated. It's our minds that label things as good and bad. It's our minds that go, this is time that I don't deserve. This is time I should be doing that. And we should all over ourselves, making it a problem that we have this time available to us. But if we were to just truly exist in the moment and not judge it, not label it, not call it anything other than what it is and just experience it, I believe we would truly be living in so much peace and so much joy. Yes, there's gonna be physical struggle, mental suffering, and these things are gonna happen because we are living a human life and we have a human body. But I think 98% of our struggles are created internally by how we label and perceive everything we are experiencing, including time. So, my encouragement for you today and my encouragement for myself is to not judge or label the free time you find yourself having throughout the day. Don't panic. Don't panic if there's nothing to do. Don't panic if you all of a sudden are chilling out and enjoying yourself and then your brain's like, you need to stop enjoying yourself and go suffer some more, go struggle, go do something productive. Notice it. Just be aware of it and just notice it and remind yourself that you don't need to judge it or label it. You can just allow yourself the experience of now and fully live in that and that is the best possible use of your time and it's also the most productive way to to live your life and to experience this abundance that is inherent within you